Well, it's been a very interesting morning. Uh, when I was dumping my lamp oil into the gas cans, I uh, saturated myself from my head to my shorts with a lamp oil when one of them busted open. And then uh, I was doing another little video about water and a wreck happened out on a street in front of me. And uh, I went up there to see if anybody needed any help. And I almost got into a fight when I told the guy to leave that had a cigarette at the wreck and you could clearly smell gas. And, uh, but I'm in my happy place now. All is well with the world. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I'd never have to leave my shop. Anyway, here we are. I'm fixing to start the solar oven project. I want to be drawing it out here. And uh, I'm going to start cutting. My next video, well, my next clip will be uh, of this partially assembled. And uh, at the end, I'll be sure and give measurements of everything. All right, let the games begin. Okay, there's the basic box. That didn't take long at all. I'm going to give you some measurements. <clears throat> If you're interested, if you want to copy this, I uh, I scoured the internet, man, and I found a lot of uh, websites and YouTube videos, but nobody gave measurements. So this is my own design, and I've incorporated the ideas of a whole bunch of people, uh, too many to uh, even give credit to. It's just, just uh, I've probably looked at dozens of videos and... Uh, another dozen forums concerning uh, solar ovens but uh, let me give you the measurements this is five and a quarter this is 20 uh, 24 right here and this is five and a half and then I just drew a line from five and a half to five and a quarter and uh, I don't know what that measurement is but you don't need that it's uh, 24 wide from outside to outside, and uh, I think that's I think that's it. All right, now I got to build the inner box. I got to insulate the walls and uh, build the inner box, and I'll show you that. And then I'm going to build a door with a double pane uh, glass, and uh, then I'm going to build the uh, mirrors. So uh, it's getting there. I think. Uh, Two days, I'll be cooking. See ya. All right, I've got this flipped over. Uh, this is the bottom. I'm insulating it. And this is the only place I'm really going cheap. I, I had this piece of uh, wafer board laying around, and it was the right size, perfect size, actually, 24 by 24. And uh, I'm going to use that for a very bottom. Uh, if I don't, I'm afraid that I may run out of... Uh, I got a little over half a sheet of plywood left and I want to be sure and have plenty to do the inside and uh, I may need to make a face frame for this uh, for where the door closes so I'm trying to be uh, conservative with my good plywood there so uh, this won't be so bad it'll be on the bottom alright that's uh, that's the bottom it's insulated and I'm fixing to tighten it up okay there's a uh one of the inside panels done. I'll do the other side just like that and then the back wall and uh, I don't know what I'll do after that. I may drink me a coke. Okay the box, the basic box is done. It's a double wall insulated. Both sides the bottom and the back double wall insulated. The only place that's not double wall insulated is this little area right up front here. It's just a thin thin strip. And uh, this little area up top. Now tomorrow I'm going to build a nice frame to go around here, trim it up real nice, and uh, build the door. That will close real tight over the frame. And uh, then, I've been going through my junk, my scrap pile here. I've got to make a, a swinging a gimbal to set the pan on. 
And for those that don't know what a gimbal is, it's uh, just something that will hang down in here with a flat base on it and and pivot and it'll it'll pivot. And the reason it needs to pivot is because this needs to uh, tilt with the sun. Not much, but uh, as it tilts, you want that pot to be level so all the roast beef juices don't uh, fall everywhere. <laughs> So before I go in tonight, I'm fixing to caulk all the seams here and uh, call it a night. And tomorrow I'll do the face frame and uh, try to see what I got for parts here to make a gimbal. I think I'm going to end up making it out of that. Used to be a tailgate for a little uh, garden trailer I had. And, uh, and then the, uh, the reflector. I'm going to have to buy some more wood. I already went through the wood I had, and I'm working with some scraps I got now. I'm going to have to go uh, lumber up in the morning. See ya.